Hi guys, today I am going to show you 4 easy steps to paint anything and paint along this beautiful portrait. Hello guys, welcome back, hope you all are doing fine. As you all know, I do a lot of acrylic portraits here in my channel and majority of my viewers are amateur artists or learners who are interested in portrait painting. The classical professional way of portrait painting from life involves applying shades onto the canvas and extracting details out of shades to slowly evolve the blocks of paint into a portrait. But this method is a bit too much for the amateur artist and learners as the artist is making conscious decisions and calculations regarding proportions, shapes, details, values, etc. all at the same time, which can be a bit of a difficult task for a beginner. So here I am discussing my simplified approach of 4 steps to paint anything and everything, especially for beginners, learners and amateur artists. This is the first step and kind of a major step in simplifying the painting process. There are some artists who don't rely upon a sketch for their paintings, but in my opinion, majority of learners and beginners need a sketch to work upon. If your painting is a building, drawing is the foundation. You cannot make a beautiful painting over a bad drawing. Painting and drawing are so interconnected that if you observe carefully, you will notice that painting is just drawing only but with brushes and colors. I start my paintings whether it be portrait, landscape or still life with detailed pencil sketches and I use graphite pencil to sketch over paper and white canvas and color pencil to sketch over toned canvas. Sketching serves different purposes in portrait, landscape and still life. In portraits, a detailed sketch catches the likeness of the person, proportion and details. So even before starting the painting, you are assured of the results in these aspects. In case of landscape, sketching serves the purpose of composition and perspective. Composition in simple words is how you compose a landscape that is positioning of various objects like house, trees, clouds, foliage, etc. in the canvas. Perspective is the relative change in size and distortion in shape of various objects in relation to the horizon and eye of the viewer. The various ill-defined features like shape of clouds or foliage in case of landscapes and shape of hair outline and drapery in case of portraits are not sketched in detail. Those features are depicted with faint guidance lines only. This process is simply applying the value corrected colors to the respective sides of the painting according to the reference. Since the composition and perspective in case of landscape and likeness and details in case of portraits are already established with sketching, artists can stress upon color theory and above all light and shadows, value scales and value shifts in the painting, which in itself is a real tough job. Some artists do underpainting with burnt sienna or burnt umber first and then apply colors to the value corrected monochromatic painting. Values add to the depth and 3D nature of the painting. In my case, I do not follow this conventional technique and simply mix 3 to 4 value corrected skin colors and block in all the skin covered parts of the face with these 4 colors. When the first layer is done, I apply the second coat over it. In the first layer, I take care to correct the value of the colors applied and in the second layer, I take care to correct the colors and texture of the surface being painted. This part resembles drawing. This is where you add hard lines in the painting to produce defined objects and shapes. Also this is where you add in high darks and highlights which gives life to your paintings. One should not go overboard with adding in details. In case of portraits, the facial details for identification are enough and in case of landscapes, the point of focus where the artist wants to guide the eye of the viewer alone are detailed. This is a very enjoyable phase as in this phase you are adding in those special brush strokes and colors which are the identity of your paintings and ultimately making the painting your own. Your critics and collectors can identify your paintings just by looking at the stylistic choices and brush strokes in the painting. So that's it guys, painting is that simple. Let's divide your acrylic painting into these four simple steps and start painting. 
If you have reached up to this watching the video please consider subscribing to the channel for more weekly content like this you can follow me at jinju art in facebook and instagram that's all from the video guys see you all in the next till then take care and bye bye